Shofatim, Judges 19. And it came to pass in those days, when there was no king in Yashara'el, that there was a certain, rather certain levi sojourning on the side of Mount Ephraim, who took to him a concubine out of Beit Lechem Yahuda. And his concubine played the whore against him and went away from him unto her father's house to Beit Lechem Yahuda, and was there four whole months. And her man arose and went after her to speak friendly unto her and to bring her again, having his servant with him and a couple of asses. And she brought him into her father's house and when the father of the damsel saw him, he rejoiced to meet him. And his father-in-law, the damsel's father, retained him, and he abode with him three days. So they did eat and drink and lodged there. And it came to pass on the fourth day, when they arose early in the morning, that he rose up to depart. And the damsel's father said unto his son-in-law, Comfort your heart with a morsel of bread, and afterward go your way. And they sat down and did eat and drink, both of them together. For the damsel's father had said unto the man, Be content, I pray you, and tarry all night, and let your heart be merry. And when the man rose up to depart, his father-in-law urged him, therefore he lodged there again. And he arose early in the morning on the fifth day to depart. And the damsel's father said, Comfort your heart, I pray you. And they tarried until afternoon, and they did eat, both of them. And when the man rose up to depart, he and his concubine and his servant, his father-in-law, the damsel's father, said unto him, Behold, now, is, now the day draws toward evening, I pray you tarry all night. Behold, the day grows to an end. Lodge here, that your heart may be merry, and tomorrow get you early on your way, that you may go home. But the man would not tarry that night, but he rose up and departed, and came over against Yavuk, which is Yerushalayim, and there were with him two asses saddled, his concubine also was with him. And when they were by Yer Yavuk, the day was far spent. And the servant said unto his master, Come, I pray you, and let us turn in into the city of the Yavasim, and lodge in it. And his master said unto him, We will not turn aside hither into the city of a stranger that is not of the children of Yashara'el. We will pass over to Giva. And he said unto his servant, Come and let us draw near to one of these places to lodge all night, in Giva or in Ramah. And they passed on and went their way, and the sun went down upon them when they were by Giva, which belongs to Binyamin, and they turned aside thither to go in and to lodge in Giva. And when he went in, he sat him down in a street of the city. For there was no man that took them into his house to lodging. And behold, there came an old man from his work out of the field at evening, which was also of Mount Ephraim. And he sojourned in Giva. But the men of the place were bin ha Yamini. And when he had lifted up his eyes, he saw eth a wayfaring man in the street of the city. And the old man said, Whither do you go, and whence do you come? And he said unto him, We are passing from Beit Lechem Yahuda toward the side of Mount Ephraim. From thence am I. And I went to Beit Lechem Yahuda, but I am now going to, rather, going eth to the house of Yahuwah, 
and there is no man that receives me to house. Yet there is both straw and provender for our asses, and there is bread and wine also for me, and for your handmaid, and for the young man which is with your servants. There is no want of anything. And the old man said, Peace be with you. Howsoever, let all your wants lie upon me, only lodge not in the street. So he brought him into his house, and gave provender unto the asses, and they washed their feet, and did eat and drink. Now as they were making at their hearts merry, behold, the men of the city, certain sons of Belial, beset at the house round about, and beat at the door, and spoke to the master of the house. The old man, saying, Bring forth at the man, that came into your house, that we may know him. And the man, the master of the house, went out unto them and said unto them, Nay, my brethren, nay, I pray you, do not so wickedly, seeing that this man has come into my house. Do not eth this folly. Behold, here is my daughter, a maiden, and his concubine. Them I will bring out now, and humble ye them, and do with them what seems good unto you. But unto this man do not so vile a thing. But the men would not hearken to him. So the man took his concubine and brought her forth unto them, and they knew her and abused her all the night until the morning. And when the day began to spring, they let her go. Then came the woman in the dawning of the day and fell down at the door of the man's house where her Lord was till it was light. And her Lord rose up in the morning and opened the doors of the house and went out to go his way and behold, the woman, his concubine, was fallen down at the door of the house and her hands were upon the threshold. And he said unto her, Up and let us be going. But none answered. And then the man took her up upon an ass, and the man rose up and got him unto his place. And when he was come in, into his house, rather, into his house, he took Eth a knife and laid hold on his concubine and divided her together with her bones into twelve pieces and sent her into all the coasts of Yashara'el. And it was so that all that saw it said, There was no such deed done nor seen from the day that the children of Yashara'el came up out of the land of Mitzrayim unto this day. Consider of it, take advice, and speak your minds.